It's the homeless capital of America, first of all. It's, uh, it's a place where people come to find hope. Uh, after Skid Row, you have nothing left. How do, how do people get here? I mean, how, how, how do these conditions happen? I, I think when you really talk to people, you realize that it's not just bad people that are here. My name is Q. Welcome to the streets of Skid Row, downtown Los Angeles where we have what we call Church Without Walls. It, this is a church to them. Some people say, this is my church. Some people, when I ask them, where do you go to church, they go right here on the streets of Skid Row. Well, I was part of a rap group on Virgin Records, the first rap group to sign the Virgin Records for four years. We toured with everybody from Tupac to DJ Quick. We had a hit single called Victim of the Ghetto. Now performing Victim of the Ghetto from their debut album, Radio Fusion Radio. Please give it up for the college boys. That kind of leads to why I'm here. I've always been about the streets. It's always been about the victims of the ghetto. You know, after that, I started realizing in 1991 that the hip hop industry was changing, and I didn't really see a lot of Christians out on the streets. And uh, I went to watch the movie Malcolm X, and at the end of the movie, I felt like God said, I want you to be like him for me. But we chose the corner because it was the darkest corner. And on that corner, you can hide a lot of stuff because the street curves. So you can't see one side of this, one end of the street to the other. And we found out that a lot of the drug dealing and a lot of the, you know, a lot of the hustling was happening on that street corner. This is probably most populated streets, you know, on Skid Row. State of California just released about 55,000 low level offenders. They have to have a place to go. Skid Row happens, to, believe it or not, where people come to find hope. We talk about the cities of refuge in the scripture. I've watched cops running people down and they run into the corner, into the circle where we are to hide. But then, you know, they end up getting captured by the word that's going forth. So we've watched people's lives transform uh, and, and we continue to see it each and every day. I, I can't be uh, a preacher like, like I'm, I'm used to seeing in church. I came from the streets, I have a different perspective on life, God, I, I, I think he molded me that way. So definitely, I wanna be out on the streets because that's where I'm home. That's where I feel like God is using me in a dynamic way. We pray that somebody would encounter you this evening. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. amen. Hey. You know, we, a lot of times in America we like to say, well, We've come a long ways. Yeah, we've come a long ways, but we still got a long ways to go. You know, so we look at it as, as you know, as a place where, where um, it never stops. But I'm here to let you know that most of the people on Skid Row are on the way up. We don't look at it as a place where we get a certain level of success and then we move on. Ain't but one way to go. And that's up. But the question becomes, when you hit the bottom, do you got the elasticity of the blood of Jesus? Well, well, I think, I think church with our walls, we, we, here we say the, the gospel is, is, is airborne because people come here from all different walks of life. They hear the word here. Uh, it's interesting, when we first came, people would uh, come just for the food. But after we started doing the word, we, didn't, we, t we told people, you don't have to come and listen to the word to get food, we'll give you food. But now people on their own free will are coming, they're listening to the word. They're coming back and they're saying, well, you spoke about this last week, but it affected me like this in my life and different things like that. Uh, after we're done with the word, we do a altar call. Tonight, we, uh, I didn't speak. Uh, my brother Daryl Brumfield spoke. And after his message, I got up, 
did an altar call. Two people gave their life to Christ. One man here and then across the street in the building, in the LA Mission, off the balcony, someone says, I want to give my life to Christ too, across the street. I see you, sister. You gonna pray with me? Yeah. Okay, let's pray. Father, Father. Lord, I give my life to you. Lord, I give my life to you. So we did the, the prayer. Uh, you'll never see that happen in a building, right? So, uh, and that's one of the things I love about the streets. The gospel is airborne. You never know where it's going to land. You never know where the word is going to land. It's just, it just takes off. That's my right. <laughs> love you. Love you, mama. Thank you. It's all about loving people and loving them without strings. And God will pull on the strings of their heart. And I feel like God was really calling me to serve people here. So we've been serving people ever since. We've helped people find hotel rooms. Uh, we have a team of people that cook. We've helped bring people to the hospital. We've helped protect people from being molested. One time I had just finished preaching a message on redemption and here come these two guys, they're fighting and the one dude like, you owe me. I said, hey man, can't touch him because I'm about to buy his freedom from you. And we were able to stop this guy from beating up this other dude who supposedly owed him $40. And, and, and for anybody out there, I think that before you start plugging into the church as it is, you should see what does God want to do with me that has never been done before. Make, making a difference means sitting with someone, getting involved in someone's life, or, or giving them the ability to feel like there's hope. Hey, let me give you an example. There's someone on our team who would bring this guy recyclable bottles every week. And two weeks ago, he gave his life to Jesus. And he says to me, man, He's always taking care of me, but he would just bring him recyclable bottles. And what I would do when I was planting the word, Peter was watering it with love. That's making a difference. And so that's what, that's what make means. That's what it means. I love this place. You want to know why? Because God is alive on this block, you hear me? He is alive. My name is Q and I make a difference on the streets of Skid Row. Luke 4, verses 18 to 19. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor.